So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Devin Zhu from Fudan MIT International MBA program. Uh, it is so nice to be here to present our program to all of you and uh, share with you the most updated information about our program. Okay, before we get started, uh, actually I prepared two questions for you guys. Uh, the two questions are very simple, but I think they are the fundamental questions you need to ask yourself before you make your final decision to pursue your MBA in China. Okay, let's have a look at the first question. It's why MBA in China? You know, every year we have many international students coming to the, our campus and uh, we ask them the same question. Uh, the majority of the international students, they really want to get connected with Asia, especially in China. We can see on the slide, uh, they want to dig out more information and the resources in Asia and China, and also want to explore more uh, business insights and a culture in this region. Besides that, uh, the international students, they also want to level up their management skills and uh, in the meantime, uh, advance their career development after graduation. Okay, let's move on to the second question. Why MBA in Fujian? Uh, I know many international students pay great attention to the reputation of a university and school. So they do the research on Google and uh, sometimes check the information on Facebook, on LinkedIn. So they uh, check the rankings of the university and the program, and uh, they are interested in the water maps of the, of the program. In the meanwhile, uh, they, uh, the global perspective and the teaching excellence that the Fuda MV pro program can offer really impress quite a lot of international students. Finally, it's about the city, it's quite interesting. Uh, many international students are interested uh, in the city of Shanghai. They want to experience the study and the living in this city. Okay, next, uh, I'm gonna give you the brief introduction from the six aspects of, about, uh, about our program. So I'm gonna talk more, talk a little bit about the Fudan University and the management school. And then I will talk about the MBA programs that the Fudan University offers, especially the Fudan MIT International MBA program. And then we will have a look at the class profile. Finally, uh, the last but not least, we talk about the scholarship and how you gonna get your application started. Okay, first, let's have a look at the university. Uh, Fudan University uh, actually is one of the oldest and most uh, prestigious university in China. Uh, it was founded in 1905. So up to now, uh, it has uh, more than 115 years history. And you know what, uh, Fudan University is also the first learning institution in China to set up the business education. We can see currently we have 35 schools and departments and uh, every year, we have more than 25,000 uh, full-time uh, students on the campus. And among all the students, we have over uh, 3,600 international students. So it means that when you get yourself immersed in the Oriental culture, the business environment, you will never feel alone because you can meet different people from different countries with diversified background. Okay, after talk about the university, let's move on to the School of Management. The Fuda uh, School of Management established business discipline in 1917. So it means uh, just like the university, the business education here in uh, Fuda uh, was also over 100 years. And uh, also it is the farthest school to attend both, both ASSB and APIS accreditations in the world. And also, the School of Management in Fudan uh, is the China's only business school with five programs ranked in top 100 global EMB MBA programs by Financial Times. Okay, so since we talk about rankings, before uh, I show you more details about MBA programs, uh, I want to share with you a good news of this year. So uh, the FT uh, Financial Times just released the uh, Global MBA ranking 2021 this September. And a good news is that the Fuda MBA program ranked number 32 worldwide. And it is number one among business schools of Chinese mainland universities. So sometimes when we talk about the ranking, uh, it is a number, right? 
but behind the number, there's quite a lot we can dig out. And for Food and Beer program, uh, it maintained global leading positions in many key uh, ranking criteria. The first I want to point out here is a salary percentage increase. Compared with many uh, leading business schools globally, the uh, salary increase of our students reached more than, uh, reached almost 200%, which is quite impressive. And also for the MBA program ranked number one in three criteria among business schools on Chinese mainland university. We can see uh, the international faculty, the international course experience and FT research. And also for full-time MBA students, I know everyone is quite uh, concerned about the career development. Uh, what will be, uh, what will you guys will, uh, will be going after the graduation? So here we can see the career service at uh, Fuda MB program ranked number uh, 21 worldwide. Compared with last year, the position is up by 21 positions. Okay, after talking about the ranking, let's move on the MB program that Fuda University offers. Uh, on the left side of the slide, we can see it is a full-time MB program, which we call it Fuda MIT International MB program. The program was taught in English and the duration of the program is two years. It is full time. And the location of your study will be in Shanghai, but you have abundant opportunity to go abroad to experience the overseas uh, study. And it uh, starts every September. On the right side of this slide is the other, is the other MBA program we call the Fuda MBA. It is a part-time MBA program, which is taught in Mandarin, in Chinese. So if even if you are uh, inter, if you are an, an international student, if you have a good score in the HSK, the language test, language test, uh, and uh, you want to meet uh, the local students in your class, uh, the part time maybe is another option for you. The duration of this program is uh, two point five years. It is part time, and the location is also in Shanghai and it starts every September as well. Okay, I want to show you more details about Fuda MIT International MBA program this time. This program was launched in 1996 through the close collaboration between Fuda University and MIT Sloan Management School. Uh, the purpose of this program is to cultivate the young elites with global perspective and local insight. Here is uh, uh, what your two year studies look like. So uh, here is the roadmap of your journey. Uh, it has uh, two years uh, study. So the first year will cover the first semester and second semester. During the first year of study, you will have your compulsory courses and also you will experience the MIT courses and the lectures which was taught by MIT professors. So every year the professor from MIT, they will fly to our campus. Uh, but uh, uh, due to the pandem pandemic situation currently, uh, the MIT courses will be held online. And uh, also, uh, in the first year of study, we have the action learning, we call it the ILA project, which help our students to put what they learned into practice. I will show, more, more, show you more details later. In the second year of study, uh, which covers the third semester and the fourth semester, uh, you will have more options. So if you want to stay here in Shanghai with us, you can take the elective courses at Fudan Management School. If you want to experience uh, the exchange program, we offered the over 100 uh, seats uh, um, uh, among the 100 uh, business schools to uh, give you opportunity to experience the ex exchange program. Or if you want to have your second degree program, you can uh, apply at the end of your first semester and the second year, you will go to North America to have your second year started. In the final semester, you will prepare your dissertation and our defense, and then congratulations, you will prepare for the graduation. And uh, there's one thing I want to emphasize here on this roadmap is that because the for full-time students, uh, career de development is quite important. So that's why, uh, work closely with the career de development office in the school. From the first uh, 
uh, from the first day you join the program to the end of the graduation, the career courses related, the career uh, counseling will cover your whole uh, semesters, of the two years, which help our students to prepare the job hunting after the graduation. Okay, here we can see the details of the curriculum. So we offer the three semester coursework, which includes the 13 compulsory courses, which covers the marketing, strategic, uh, strategic management, uh, finance, and also we offered over 40 electives covers the entrepreneurship investment. You can choose among all the electives which is related to the industry you are interested in. Okay, here I talk more about the overseas opportunity. In the previous slides, uh, I, uh, I show you the opportunities of a global exposure. Here is the details. So if you are interested in your second degree, uh, the first year, you will stay in Shanghai, in Fudan, to have your second, you have your first year started. And the second year, you will go to North America. Here we work with the three top universities in North America to offer you uh, the second degree uh, opportunity. The first one is definitely uh, MIT, uh, uh, Sloan uh, Management School. And also we work with the Yale University, the School of Management, and the Schulich Business School uh, in York University in Canada. So uh, once you finish the two years study, you will have two degrees from both uh, Fudan and the other business school in North America. Uh, for the middle term uh, exchange program, yeah, we have more than 100 seats for you to choose. And also we have the short courses and summer programs for international students to experience uh, their uh, global classroom. Okay, after talk about the curriculum and uh, the overseas opportunity, let's move on to the action learning. Uh, because we know for the MB study, uh, it is a business practice based study. The learning, what you learn, uh, what you learn in classroom is never enough, right? So that's why we established the action learning, the food and the ILAB since 2005. So our students will uh, work as a consulting team to take the brief from the business partners and help them to solve the real business problem. Uh, when they uh, have the challenge or problem, uh, get the entrance to China market. So it's kind of the win-win situation. For our students, uh, during the practice of the consulting project, they can put what they learned into practice and uh, even they can get the internship and also the job offer from the companies. From the company side, uh, they uh, take the advice and the suggestions from our students, which is helpful for them to build their business in China. Here we can see since 2005, the MBR lab have completed more than 240 projects with over 200 domestic and international partner companies and over 1,000 1, students participate in the ILAB projects. Okay, next we move on to the graduation. So you must be very interested in uh, the topic where our students are uh, going after the graduation. So here, uh, and the average number of our of the job offer our students get is three, and uh, over ninety percent of our students changed their career industry or function after the graduation. Here we can see many big names on the screen. Uh, there are some high tech companies such like the Amazon, Alibaba, Huawei, Microsoft, and uh, ByteDance, which is a company host TikTok, and also we have uh, the Consulting companies like KPMG, PwC, and also some medical companies like uh, Medtronic. So because Food and MB program is kind of the general management, our students are from different uh, industries. So uh, I know some programs are uh, the finance driven, finance oriented, but uh, for Food and MB program, we, we can see our students, uh, the companies we are going are quite diversified. Okay, uh, here is a brief uh, look at the, our students' profile. Uh, take the example of the class of 2021. Every year for Fudan uh, MIT International MBA program, we recruit around 100 students. 
and 80% of the students are local. They are from the city of Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, Hong Kong, Taipei. And uh, the rest, 20% uh, uh, of the students are international students. They are coming from the Southeast Asia, such like Singapore, Thailand, uh, Indonesia, and also from the uh, East Asia, like Japan, South Korea. And also quite a few are from North America, like US and Canada. And also another group of students are from Europe, uh, such like UK, France, Italy. And the average age of uh, our students is 28. And the average working experience is 5.6 uh, years. And uh, we can see the percentage of women is 20%. And the class internationalization is over 40%. Because I mentioned earlier, we have the both full-time and uh, part-time MBA program. For the full-time MBA program, every year there are 100 students. But for part-time MBA, we recruit around uh, 750 students uh, each year. So it means that uh, besides the classmates on your class, you can meet different uh, uh, the domestic and international students from different backgrounds with uh, part-time classmates. Okay, here are the details of the student profile. We can see the academic background. Uh, around 88 uh, have the bachelor degree and uh, about 12 have the master degree. For the working experience, the average working experience is 5.6 years with over 50 uh, working experience is between two and five. For the career position, the majority of our students are occupied at the management level or as a specialist. And for the industry, I mentioned earlier, uh, our students are quite diversified in their career background. We can see uh, they are from finance, uh, financial service, industry products, telecom, education, logistic. So it, mean, it means that uh, in your class, uh, the people from different uh, career background, from different industry, it is easy and uh, more uh, inspirations from each other. Okay, after talk about the student profile, we move on to the scholarships we offer to international students. We can see on this slide, we offer the three man can uh, man uh, can of scholarship to international students. The first is the GMAT scholarship. So if you already have the GMAT score or you prepare to take the GMAT, if you get enrolled by this project, uh, and your score is 650 and above, you will guarantee to have the scholarship uh, of 40,000 RMB. And if your score is over 750, you will definitely have the 100% tuition fee as the scholarship. Okay, the second uh, main category of the scholarship for international students is entry scholarship, which is tailor-made for international students. We can see on the list, there are diversity scholarship, entrepreneurship scholarships, excellent scholarships, women leadership scholarships, social responsibility, and young talent scholarships. So uh, for this kind of scholarships, you don't have to apply for it separately. During your application, uh, once our admission team review your background and your performance, and they find your background match with each category, uh, you will get the scholarship automatically. And finally, uh, I will introduce the Xinquan Belt and Road Scholarship, which was launched last year, just launched last year. Uh, according to the policy of China government uh, about the Belt and Road Initiative, so for the countries uh, join this BRI, uh, we give the opportunity uh, to international students uh, who is from these regions uh, working on the uh, BRI. Uh, we will sponsor them with uh, uh, the amount of over 250,000 RMB for each uh, international student. Okay, finally, uh, we uh, talk about application. First is about the basic requirement of the application. Uh, we can see uh, you must have a recognized bachelor degrees from university or a master degree. And uh, we suggest you need to have the two years full-time working experience. And uh, during your application, you need to prepare your resume, academic transcripts, the degree copies, 
and also the two recommended letters. And also better you have the GMAT or GIE uh, scores. Once you submit your application, our admission team will review your background and invite you to take the interviews. After the interview, you will know uh, the status of your uh, interview. Uh, you will get the offer or you get the conditional offer. So if you are interested in the program and uh, get ready to get enrolled this year, there's one last round of application of this year, 2021. The deadline of the application is the end of April. So if you want to get enrolled this year, uh, it is suggested that you get uh, started as soon as possible. And uh, finally, it's about the duration fee. It's around uh, three, uh, 320,000 RMB, including the textbook and handout. Uh, it covers two years. OK, uh, for more details, maybe you can go to our website to check more details. And uh, here's our contact, our email, imv at fudan.edu.cn. Uh, just if you have any question, don't hesitate to drop the message to us. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I would be like to glad to answer. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, David, for uh, sharing all the information about the Fudan University MBA program. Yes, there are a couple of questions from the students about this program. So the first one is, about uh, dual degree opportunities, but in this case, it's not about doing a dual degree at Fudan University and the one in the US, but what about if students wants to, let's say, take MBA program at Fudan University, but they also want to study other master's program at Fudan University, for example, master's in engineering program, would it be possible to do it in uh, Fudan University? And how's the startup culture for uh, businesses in China? Okay. Okay. So for the question about like currently we uh, we only offer the dual degree uh, uh, with uh, three schools and offer the MB degree and uh, currently we don't have the collaboration with other master degrees program. But uh, for the Fujian uh, uh, courses, it is a welcome to, for everyone to join the class in different programs. So if you want to experience the different courses in different programs, uh, yeah, you are, very, you are more than welcome to join us. So, but currently we don't offer any uh, the dual degree, uh, which covers MBA or other, with other uh, degree programs. Mm -hmm. Right, and then the next question from Angela is mainly about, oh, do you have any tips uh, for international students to prepare for their interview? Uh, for interview, that's a great question. Okay, so first, uh, because for the proce procedure of the uh, the application, so first I mentioned you will you need to prepare all the document and the information to fill out all the uh, application. So after you submit, the admission team will review your background and then you will take the interview. Uh, for the interview, uh, there will be two professors from the school to have the uh, around 30 minutes interview with you. It is, uh, uh, the interview is in English. So my suggestion is that it actually is quite simple, just to be yourself. Because during your application, you already uh, show uh, every details about yourself and uh, the professor, before the interview, the professors already read uh, every details about you. So uh, it, the question is more about yourself. So, but there's one thing I want to point out that because uh, for international students, uh, if you choose to pursue your MBA in China, I think you can prepare a little bit about uh, your planning. So why you want to pursue your MBA here in China, uh, especially during this pandemic, pandemic situation. So the, your clear uh, planning for the future is quite important. And also think about uh, your background and uh, how you got you can contribute to the class once you uh, get your MBA started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understood. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It's going to be very helpful for students to prepare for the application and also for their interview later. So uh, I remember you mentioned about the Sinquan uh, Belt and Road Scholarships. 
Yes. And it is a very, very, you know, like interesting and exciting scholarship. So what mm -hmm. exactly is the requirements uh, for students who wants to be able to get the scholarships? Okay, so actually for the uh, requirement for this kind of scholarship, uh, it's, quite, it, it's quite simple. If you are from the regions which sign the, uh, the Belt and Road Initiative, I mean, it is a policy between governments, right? So if you're from these regions or country, uh, that you have the opportunity. So for the requirements, the other requirement is just the requirements uh, for every applicant. So uh, what you need to do is just uh, uh, meet the basic requirement of this program and uh, show the best uh, side of yourself and uh, uh, just show some shining points of yourself. So if you, yeah, you, you can just give some your unique your your uniqueness to the interviews. I think that would be much helpful. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah, I think the one final question. Uh, you know, with a lot of top universities in China offering MBA programs nowadays. So, what do you think is the main, like the main point, or or like the main advantage, or like what what do you think like what's the reason why international students should apply for the Fudan University's IMBA program? Okay, uh, that's actually the great question. Because the thing is that for, uh, yeah, there's many MBA programs in mm -hmm. China. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, for, in, for, actually for local students, uh, it is more easy for them to, maybe they can pay a visit to the campus, it's more convenient mm -hmm. for them to experience the uh, the open day, uh, the open day of the campus, and experience uh, maybe the some public courses that would be easy. But for international students, sometimes they can only do some research online. So maybe I, I suggest is that uh, once you compare with uh, the different uh, uh, MBA program, first is that uh, you need to set up a clear goal about uh, why you want to pursue your MBA in China. So and then. You check the rankings, such like the rankings of the uh, by the different like the Financial Times or QS, and uh, to see the advantage of different universities can offer to you. And for Fudan University, I mentioned because first it is a comprehensive university. Uh, what we have is not only business schools. So we have the 33, uh, sorry, 35 uh, schools. Uh, uh, around the campus, right? So if your background is medical, is medicine, or uh, your background is journalism, or, uh, or any, any major, so the linkage uh, within this campus is quite strong. So what you can enjoy the resources or connection with not just uh, the business school, but uh, with other schools. So maybe that is one uh, advantage of the Fudan University. And also, Fudan is quite good, have a good reputation about uh, the Oriental culture. And also, Fudan is the first uh, university to give the language, uh, uh, how to say, the learning, the courses to international students in China. So actually, the students there, when they get themselves immersed in, uh, in the campus, they, they can experience Oriental culture, especially the business. So that is another advantage of the Fudan MBA program offer. And also, uh, I think uh, also uh, another key criteria, just like the ranking shows, uh, we have a, a great advantage to help our students to prepare to prepare their career development after the graduation. Mm -hmm. So I think the three points, maybe uh, maybe the students can do some research online to check more details. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thanks a lot for all the sharing today, Davin. We really appreciate uh, you joining this online open day to give the students more insights about Food and University IMBA program. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice Bye. day, too. too.